morning guys welcome back day two here colorado today's gonna be a good day I have a good feeling about what we're about to go see just having a little coffee wake up the cool thing about these later hunts is you just truly really never know what is going to show up every day you might see a new buck uh today is friday as far as days of the week and i believe there's a storm that's going to push through tomorrow the storm will blow through a lot of times the deer activity will increase and new bucks will show up so uh the hunt goes until monday so we've still got a fair number of days and we gotta just keep keep glass and covering as much country as we can uh with this tag and stay persistent those are the those are my keys to success Terry, thoughts on the days? I'm eating, dude. Oh, good call. <laughs> Drop the intro. New bucks this morning that we didn't see yesterday, which is uh, always kind of cool. They are definitely still showing their ruddy behaviors. Logan thought he found a pretty good one, but he kind of disappeared before we could get a real good look at him. So we're waiting to see if it pops back out. Otherwise, it's been a great morning. No wind this morning. Still lots of deer around. The day is good. Oh man, it's been an awesome morning. We're trying to determine, was there one buck this morning or was there two? Logan was confident it was two different bucks. I thought it maybe was one because we lost sight of him forever, but sure enough, it was two bucks. One of them is uh, what I call like the short G2 buck. His uh, G2s are real kind of tiny, but his fronts are great. The other one has really nice fronts, but just kind of crabbier backs. Both good frame bucks. Both look mature. Both would be shot in a minute if uh, I gave my dad the bullets, but we're gonna be patient and we're gonna wait. They were, uh, one of them was super ruddy today too. He was just chasing the dills like crazy. They're uh, still out kind of just feeding up on the hillside behind us. And they're on the list, don't get me wrong. Like in a couple days, we haven't tagged out. They're on the list. They're oh, he stole list. some bullets. <laughs> <laughs> they're on the list. They're on the list. But I just think we have to be patient out here got to just keep waiting um every day like we've said just something new could pop up it's just that time of year and you know it's fun this is a good time so it's always that balance like do you try to you want to fill a tag right away or do you want to just like enjoy your time and get some hunting in so it's been a rad morning that's what we're uh that's what we're currently doing i think uh because it is so nice out the deer have a tendency to not be as active during the day hours so you kind of have a few hours in the morning then in like breakfast, brunch, nap, and then you got a couple hours in the evening. Last shooting light is right at 520, but realistically about five o'clock is when you can't really see much more. That's kind of the uh, the morning update. We're gonna get him a buck. Just a matter of uh, which one it is. like a big two-point frame with uh, just little tiny points to make a three by three. He's a cool looking buck. I, I'm assuming he's gonna be maybe a little bit older age class, kind of a regress, 
but he's acting real ruddy. He's doing like the tip, sort of like the prototypical lip curl where they tilt their head back. And that's a sign of good times to come. I think uh, it's going to get better just day by day. Went into town and had a good breakfast. I guess it'd be more of a brunch, but saw a couple sweet bucks that were in the back of some trucks. We're just sticking, sticking after it. Might go check out a new spot in a little bit here. We'll see how this one produces, but I think uh, the name of the game is just being consistent. And I mean, we didn't see that buck this morning. So where, where the heck was he at? We saw him last night, I'm pretty sure. And then he just appears out of nowhere. So again, probably said it too many times, but a deer could just show up at any given second. And so uh, we're gonna just continue to be patient. Hi girls. Where's your boyfriends? Not the deer we're looking for, Terry? Not the deer we're looking for. Looking for their big boyfriend. It's a powder donut kind of day. Usually means things are gonna hit the dirt. morning guys from Colorado. What are we, day three now I think? We, uh, we hit a new glassing spot. Kind of looking at it from a different angle and uh, covered some country that we haven't been able to see from where we were previously. Barely light enough to start seeing good through the spotting scope. Picked up a bunch of does so far. I haven't seen any bucks yet but um, we're gonna sit here for a while. Let the sun rise at our backs and get a good look some of this new country that we have not seen yet. And then we'll just kind of see what happens. We got some ideas for plans B and C if this one doesn't pan out. We don't see any mature bucks. But um, again, everything can change in an instant out here this time of year. So we can just keep, keep after it. take a little walk about down this two track goes through a big huge patch of aspens see if we could get lucky this time of the day has just been so mild that most of the deer just are resting up in bed bedded down so certainly morning's the best evening's been decent midday's been slow so instead of just taking a nap early we're gonna go take a little hike I hope my dad turned the scope down to like three or four because if he could get a shot through this stuff it's going to be pretty short distances. weather's going to change up some of the patterns. Today was really, really slow. But I just saw that wide 2 by 3 that we saw last night, which uh, we pretty much have tomorrow morning and we got to go. So at this point in the game, he would be a shooter, I think. He's cool, he's old, and uh, just
just needed to come on our side of the property. He's on the neighbor's property. But we're going to just keep blasting tonight. And then if nothing happens, hopefully we'll have a fresh blanket of snow and a whole new slug of deer to look at in the morning. There's five or six other deer behind this knob. I saw it going earlier. What do you think? Let's go after him. Let's take, we'll make the decision when we get close. All right. Okay. Wow, look at that sunset. We're running out of time, so we're gonna have to haul ball. We're good. Are we? 4.30. Right. We got an hour. All right, awesome. Really curious where they're gonna end up. It's that buck was chasing hard. Yeah. Well, that little knob there, I don't know what the backside looks like, but there's... I know there's a dozen deer back there now, so. Yeah. And he's by far the biggest buck we've seen today. He let's is. Go, let's go. Let's go see how big he is up close. Let's go take a, look, a closer look, and we'll make a decision then. <laughs> Finally found something. It's been a slow day, but that deer, uh, as you just saw, is uh, he was chasing real, real hard. We got to just go locate him. He kind of over some like knobs and stuff. And, I don't know if we'll shoot, try to shoot him or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm torn. He's the best deer that we've seen today for sure. I would say he's one of the... We've seen three mature bucks. So he's one of those three. But after a storm is always so dang good. And every day the season goes on and gets better. Even though you run the risk of not filling your tag. Because we do have to head out of town by tomorrow. Probably by noon I'd say. Um... So we'll just, I don't know, decisions, decisions. But I'm going to tell you this, the sunset is gorgeous and uh, a little snow is coming across. But I think we're going to hike our way down there and just go see what we see. We'll figure out then. Yeah, we'll do that. What he said.